And then there was one. The final match for Greco-Roman comes down to the heavyweight collision. Turkey and Cuba. Riza Kaya out. There quite simply hasn't been anything left out there that he has not accomplished throughout his double-digit years wearing the Turkey singlet. For Cuba, Oscar Pino Hines tries to keep a tradition that was strong in this weight class for so many years with the legendary Milan Lopez. And I'll tell you what, Pino Hines, ever since he jumped into the weight at 2017, in there for the injured Lopez that particular year, he has not let up. A big moment for him to put his identity on the Cuban heavyweight division and come away with a world championship. And what better way to do it than to knock off the legend, Kai Alp. What an exciting opportunity and moment. We have seen Cuba against Turkey many times in the finals here at the World Wrestling Championship. An exciting, exciting matchup. Riza Kaya Alp, a three-time world champion, looking for number four. He's won a record nine European championships, an Olympic silver medalist in 2016, an Olympic bronze medalist in 2012. He's been a world silver medalist twice, a world bronze medalist twice. Count them all up, 13 world championship medals for Riza Kaya Alp. And can the Cuban Oscar Pino Hines capture his first world championship? He has a bronze in his young career, just getting started. Now we have seen a real rivalry between Reza Kayalp and Milan Lopez. And it will be interesting to see if we can expect a rivalry in the future between Pino Hines and Kayalp here with a, an exciting matchup. World Wrestling Championship to be decided. You can bet Milan's watching somewhere, watching proudly to see what his understudy can do here at 130 kilos. Cuba in the red, Turkey will be with the blue in the left-hand corner. Thirteen world championship medals for Kaya Alp. How does he do it consistently year in, year out? He is simply just that good. Such a strong and powerful wrestler and very skilled and talented. There's quite a scene in Budapest this year at the European Championships. Kaya Alp captured that record ninth European title. It's very high pace from both wrestlers here, a lot of hand fighting. A lot of hand fighting, a little more than a minute into this first period. Very interesting to see who gets into position first or gets passivity called for. A lot of Turkish support here. Wrestling, a huge sport in Turkey. A lot of support. Parterre opportunity for Kaya Alp. This is where he put away the opponent last night in the semifinals. Tight grip here, applying pressure. So patient. Methodically worked his way up to his feet. Now drops off to the right side. Can't quite turn Pino Hines over. Still has that grip. Back up onto his feet for a second time. Elevates up the Cuban. Cuban trying to stay flat. Keep those hips heavy down toward the mat. Kaya out now this time droops back to that right side and good defense underneath. Oscar Pino Hines dodges the first bullet. Wow. Kaya is strong. Defending that kind of pressure in Pacher shows how tough Pino Hines is, really is. Powerful as well. 
Different body types. Pino Hines, clearly the taller athlete. Good three inches would be our guess from up here. Wide-shouldered Kaya Alp, up 1-0. Final 30 seconds of this first period. And this tempo, this pace is really high. Especially for heavyweights. Controlling the wow. center, close to a step out. And let's see. Two from the referee, and is it confirmed for Kaya Alp? It is, he gets three in the cushion department. A three-nothing lead, and boy, Pino Hines centimeters away from getting the point. And actually a counter from Kaya Alp, who were able to move away and go to the, go to the back. The final seconds of the first round. Unanswered points toward the end of a period, always so critical. Strong action from the Turkish wrestler Kael. Oscar Pino Hines was probably thinking he was close to getting a point. He had the penetration, he had the momentum, he had the drive going forward. And Riza Kaya Alp with his map presence knew exactly where he was. And with the heel straddling that passivity zone area, that yellow boundary around the mat, he was able to side swipe, come around the corner and get two. That's how you win multiple championships. Period two. A little bit of a different story now for Pino Hines after the late exchange in the first. This is a high pace being applied here by both wrestlers. Kyle fighting here. Being put under pressure by Pino Heinz. We're looking for the opportunity to score. And he will get it. This is the moment Oscar Pino Hines has been calculating. He thought possibly he might go into this tied at one, instead a three to one deficit. And now he goes to work on top in parterre. Can he turn Kyle? That is the question here. Rides him parallel to begin. Adjust the grip around the waist and the hips. Building up that pressure driving forward with the toes. Kaya Alps scrambling underneath. Here comes the possible turn. Does he have enough in the tank to do it? No, Kaya Alp fins it off. Wow, it didn't look like Kyle was moving at all. He was like glued to the mat. So solid, so strong. He's a Kaya Alp, that patented dance before the whistle, getting those feet loose, getting them moving. Snap down, couple of snap downs by Pino Hines. You feel it when he does it. Anytime you see an off balance Kaya Alp, you know there's some force on the other end creating that. And with the size, these two wrestlers have, it's really impressive that they're able to move their feet and adjust in the pace they are doing. Like the reactions here, it's... It's just such an athletic weight class anymore. Not just the size, but like you talked about. They need the speed, they need the explosiveness, and they need, like we're seeing here, the ability to be going at it for six minutes at a high, high pace. Cuban corner, emphatic, trying to get the attention of Oscar Pino Hines. If he can get two, he would have the tiebreaker. No cautions have been issued. He'd be the last one to score. Both would get a two-point maneuver, but he needs to get the two. 
Riza Kayao maintaining his territory in the center. Oscar Pino Hines regroups, gathers for one more frontal assault. Ten seconds to go here from Kayao, who's fighting, digging deep, staying in front, but what's... Wow, what a close call. Three seconds to go, and Kayal can crown himself as the world champion. Number four wow. for Riza Kaya Alp. He is a four-time world champion. A year that he will always remember, and that says something when you've had the career that Riza Kaya Alp has enjoyed. He set the European record.